Greetings everyone and welcome back to another episode of World of Warships with the High Hand. And today, the second video in our new series, which I think I'm going to call Based Reviews. Um, we are going to be reviewing the Italian, the new legendary Italian cruiser, the Napoli. So, we'll start off and get a TLDR out of the way. So, the newest legendary cruiser and the first legendary Italian ship... To be honest with you, is always going to want leave you wanting and expecting more. Although there's nothing intrinsically bad about the at Napoli, there is also nothing that it excels at. Um, it's a port queen for sure. So uh, a little background on the boat itself uh, is based on the Soviet Project 22. Uh, the Napoli is a secondary focused heavy cruiser with nine. 254 millimeter guns in triple turrets, two quad torpedo launchers, 12 90 millimeter sap secondaries, and 12 152 millimeter sap secondaries. Uh, a point of note the guns are actually based off the British Mark 11 uh, 9.2 inch uh, guns, um, so they, they never they never existed. Um, this boat never existed, uh, and even the paper design didn't make it far enough without wargaming, squeezing a little bit of magic uh, on there to try and make the uh, ship viable in the game. Right, so let's move on to the meat and bones then, shall we? So the Napoli has a fast, flat trajectory for its ballistics, good AP pen, uh, improved secondary dispersion and sap secondaries. It's also a pretty quick boat at 35 knots uh, with good agility for, for its size. Uh, exhaust smoke, reasonably good concealment for the tier for a heavy cruiser. Um, but unfortunately, I have to say it, but the bad points just outweigh the good. Um, the dispersion is the worst of all cruisers at the tier. Uh, HE is asthmatic with just a 16% fire chance. Considering you only have nine guns and a 15 second reload, it's it's pretty poor. Uh, Alaska has 30%. Uh, just to put it into uh, context for you, uh, it has a short firing range, um, mediocre A defense, no hydro, no radar, and one of the worst heals at the tier as well. Uh, the Napoli really doesn't have much of an ability to influence, influence uh, a battle at all. Uh, her DPM is the lowest at the tier. Uh, add that to the poor dispersion, and in all fairness, it's a recipe for more L's uh, than uh, than W's. Uh, although I do have to give it credit, the secondaries are actually really good, and they do have a, have a high firing arc, so they do a lot more uh, consistent damage than most secondaries. Uh, add that to the good concealment and the speed and the exhaust smoke. It can allow you to get yourself into advantage, uh, advantageous positions, uh, but it has little in the way to really capitalise on them, uh, on on its ability to get into those positions in the first place. Uh, the only real chance to get good results in the uh, Napoli is to rely on the enemy team being a bunch of glue sniffers. Uh, well, so they'd maintain broadside to you and allow you to score some big chunks, chunks of damage, praying to RNGs uh, or praying to your RNGs that your HE will actually set some fires. Uh, the classic Italian sea mines uh, generally have very limited use other than area of denial. And for the Napoli, although if you are bold enough to utilize your armor, your low runs are possible and it can be effective in some brawling situations. Um, there is one saving grace for the Napoli, and that is just how well protected the Napoli is. Uh, Turtleback Citadel with 120 millimeters of armor and a 50 millimeter casemate uh, mate makes up for the 25 millimeter bow, uh, and the, although it does have a 60 mil icebreaker on the front as well. Um, show enough side to a Yamato uh, to go for a Citadel instead of your bow, and they will spend some time collecting their controller from the rage sling across the room as they scream, how did that cruiser bounce my shells? Uh, but a smart BB will have very little trouble blowing your guns out. 
Um, this is going to be a fairly short review because I don't really have much else to say uh, on the Napoli. Um, it is a unique concept um, for a cruiser. It's basically a Bismarck in the form of a cruiser. Uh, and honestly, I can't recommend the research time uh, or the doubloons to boost it in the Bureau unless you really have nothing else to complete. Uh, its closest competitor, as in sort of armour, calibre guns, uh, and torpedoes is the Yoshino, and the Yoshino is just superior in every single way. Um, Alaska and Stalingrad have significantly more consistent are significantly more consistent uh, when uh, when uh, when you know sealing damage is key. And the light cruisers like the Colbert and the Minotaur uh, have three times the DPM at their disposal. Um, but so with that out of the way, if you are determined to uh, to try and make the Napoli work, um, I do have some builds for you. Uh, I would suggest for modifications, put in aiming systems mod one uh, to help with the dispersion, steering gears two and three. Uh, it's it's a big old ship, but it's quite fast, and you can take advantage of its armor. Uh, and its uh, and its agility and increasing the uh, the rudder shift will definitely help with that. Uh, gunfire control systems one uh, or systems on there as well. Uh, Captain, I would suggest taking Mimbelli with Ding and Scott for faster reload and try and buff the dispersion. Uh, Ingenious to help you track nearby DDs. You can't hunt down DDs, but you can try and figure out where they are and help you dodge. Those uh, inevitable torpedoes. Uh, full speed ahead and velocious to uh, make up for, to, to basically enhance its main characteristic, which is the speed and the ability to get into advantageous positions. Steer clear again to increase the uh, agility and then fully packed. Uh, you can, however, go for a meme secondary build, which is hilarious when you dev strike a gear in with your secondaries <laughs> but overall it's going to have less of an impact on the game uh Fugosi with hippa and haruna as inspiration uh, i'd go for quick fix squid ink stand or fall uh smoke on the water and unstoppable which will take your uh, secondaries out to i believe you can max them out at about 7.2 kilometers with that build uh, so, um, yes, the Napoli, it's really nothing to write home about and unfortunately has, with me at least, put itself at the very bottom rung of the legendary cruisers that are currently in the game. Uh, although I did find it, if I'm honest, quite pleasing to play, particularly when you, you do reasonably well, because it's quite a difficult ship to do well in. Um, but other than that, I, I think we've pretty much got this copic, copic? topic covered. So thank you very much for everyone who stopped by. I do hope you, uh, you enjoyed or at least appreciate this review. And of course, until next time, take care. <laughs>